Hello, I'm back again with another lyrics translation video, and then this one is for the new song Happiness by SAS featuring Ashake and Gona. This collaboration is not one that I saw coming at all. I mean, Ashake and Gona together on the record. As usual, Ashake will always stick to his sound and his style, regardless of who is on the record with him. So his own verse and the chorus were in Yoruba language. Anyway, let's get straight to the lyrics of the song. This line means, my guy, talk to me, what's happening, or what's going on. Alaye is a Yoruba slang that means guy, you know, a Yoruba police officer, or maybe one Ebu Adubo can see you, a total stranger, and tell you Alaye Wambi, meaning guy, come here. So Alaye me means my guy, me means my. Bami Soro does talk to me, follow me talk, kill on law. What's happening? Or what's going on? For my area, Romilonso, one you more give them pressure, pressure. For my area, Romilonso means in my area, it's my matter they are talking about. It's my matter they are talking. Like in his hood, where he stays, or like where he came from, he's the subject of discussion. One you more give them pressure, pressure means they say that I'm giving them pressure. So Ashake is saying that the people in his area, they are talking about him and they are saying that he's giving them pressure. Giving them pressure in this context means like his achievement or success is pressuring them. You know, like they say, misery loves company. You know, when everyone in a group or a clique is, doing, is not doing well, they kind of console themselves with their failure. Like each person will feel like he's not the only one that is not doing well and they'll kind of feel comfortable like the poverty is a general thing. But when one person starts to prosper among them, you know, they start to kind of feel insecure and feel like a failure because one of their peers with the same opportunity as them is not successful. So the person's success can pressurize them and make them either start to be hungry for success or in some cases, they go for the downfall of the successful one among them so they can all be equal. Ojema lo son shishe lo it means you better don't sleep, continue hustling. Shishe means hustle. No, so shishe lo means hustle they go or keep hustling. Omo ya paolo means it means my brother continue making money. Omo ya or omo ya me means my mother's child. So here Ashake is kind of happy that his success is pressuring these people in this area. And he's telling them that they better don't sleep, they should be up and grinding, you know, and chasing money. He wants the pressure to push them to success. Nobody go there when I pardon too much. It means like nobody will stick around when poverty has become too much. You know, like when you get to a level of poverty, people who you thought were your friends will leave you. Nobody will st still be around. Sapa means poverty or being broke. And it means it's the person that it has happened to that we know. You know, like when you're doing well and life is going very well for you, you probably believe that all your friends are diehard friends, that they won't leave you under any circumstance or switch up on you. And when you hear stories of people who were deserted when they went broke, it, sound, it probably sounds like fiction to you. So Ashake is saying here that it is only those that have experienced, you know, that kind of extreme poverty that understands how people react under that kind of circumstance. Kabo Kabo Law Omo Bashin Law is still the lead because it's still the hot. Meaning, welcome, welcome. You know, Kabo means welcome. Omo Bashin Law meaning the prince has arrived on the horse. You know, Omo Bashin means child of the king as the prince. So Omo Bashin Law there means the prince has arrived on the horse. He's still the lead because he's still the hot. Meaning, he's still lead because he's still hot. Happiness, every finesse, my life no stress, fine boy no ex. Meaning happiness, you see finesse. Every means you see. And then finesse means top notch skill or style. For example, I can say he handled the situation with so much finesse. Meaning he handled the situation with so much skill or like expertise. My life no stress, that is his life is stress free. Fine boy no ex. There's this audio, I think it was a song that was trending last year. It goes like, 
I'm a beauty. I'm a speck. I'm nobody's ex. Nobody's ex there doesn't mean that you haven't dated anybody in the past. That's not what it means exactly. You know, as a guy, even as a lady, but most especially as a guy, as you continue to grow and get better in your career, in your physical, in your physical appearance, you eventually start dating better looking girls, you know. Have you seen Ashake's new girlfriend? This is a video of her and Ashake. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. I mean, if we are being honest with each other, a 2019 or even a 2020 Ashake, this Ashake here in this video will not be dating this type of lady. That is his current girlfriend. She probably won't even reply his DM. So as you progress, there are some ex-lovers that you can't even tell people that you once dated. Yeah, and there are some ex-lovers that will be so proud and they will be boasting that they once dated you. You know, there was this girl that was once in the same school with Ashake in OAU back then before Ashake blew up. You know, Ashake messaged her and was trying to get her number and all that. And the girl refused. And she was saying that Ashake was all over the place on campus and she didn't want anyone like that. You know, later on when Ashake became successful, you know, she was kind of regretting on Twitter that, oh, she, that she should have at least given him, you know, her number that maybe by now they would have been friends. And she was kind of in a way boosting, you know, softly. She was boosting that, oh, this guy once used to admire me. <laughs> what was even killing me there is Ashake's response. Bam. <laughs> Mr. Money knew they waste time truly. Papa did not even bother to press the girl for her number. He just moved on. I mean, that's his proper gentleman's response. He was already very matured before becoming famous. So I'm um, nobody's ex there kind of mean nobody or no past lover should lay claim on me. I don't know you at all. All that was in the past. I am now a fly and a good looking guy, a fine boy, and I'm nobody's ex. You get the point now, right? O tutu o tutu o won yi magara simi ala kori o tutu o won yi means like it's cold you can feel it in your teeth you know there's a kind of cold you be exposed to you feel it in your teeth you feel some kind of like you understand what i'm saying magara simi means don't be proud to me like don't be proud to me ala kori ala kori is an insult it means fool Meaning what's doing you or what's happening to you is not what's happening to me. Like our experience are totally different. Meaning you better know what you are doing. I'm not a novice. Like you say you better know how you act around me. And I'm not a novice. I'm not a kid or a fool. Like if you move funny around me, I will definitely figure it out. Yepa, yepo, ashamodi. That one is a slang. Don't really know what it means. I don't even think it has a meaning. Organo the form of asabi. It means Mr. Man, stop acting like you know it all. Organ means boss, but in context like this, it means like Mr. Man or like, hey, stop acting like you know it all. Makeskofi, as you can see, abizombi sa kokomi. Makeskofi, as you can see, abizombi sa kokomi. Marcus Coffey is a fictional character in the movie Prison Break. And in the movie, he was a genius. He, like, he was very, very, he was a very, very smart guy. So, in the previous time, Ashake said, Organo the form of Asabi, like, meaning Mr. Man, stop acting like you know it all. Like, you are very, very smart. Then, in this line, he goes ahead to say, Marcus Coffey, as you can see, that he's likening himself to Marcus Coffey, that he's a very smart person. So, don't you come around him acting like you yourself, you know it all. Abizombi sa kokomi. Kokomi means it doesn't concern me, it's not my business. Abizombi meaning I'm a zombie. Uh, Gunner's part was in English language, so I won't be going over that one. I'm pretty sure everyone here understands English. Uh, Gunner has been feeling Nigerians lately, though. It was, it was featured by Victor Thompson on the remix of this year, a gospel song. That link up was definitely the most random link up this year. And last year, too, he was with Whiskey. And now he's on the record with Ashake and Saz. Anyway, the rest of the song has already been explained, so I won't be going over it again. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a dime. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.